Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel, 10 Minutes Japan. Today, I will tell you about Kento Momoda, a Japanese badminton player. He is super good at badminton, and I hope he will get a gold medal in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. So, I want you to know about his life story and episode at the end of this movie. Let's check it out! Kento Momoda is one of Japan's leading badminton players, achieving first place in the BWF, Badminton World Federation, World Rankings. In 2019, he set the Guinness World Records by winning 11 international championships a year. Also, he was awarded as the BWF Best Male Player of the Year in 2019. On September 1, 1994, Kento was born in Kagawa Prefecture, named after Clark Kent, the American comic, Superman's main character. His parents wished that he would become the strongest person in the world. Kento started playing badminton when he was in the first grade of elementary school. He was invited by the coach of the badminton team his sister belonged to. After that, he made outstanding progress in badminton and won the National Elementary School Championship singles when he was in the sixth grade. However, the local junior high school did not have a badminton club. So, Kento decided to enter a junior and senior high school of badminton powerhouses in Fukushima Prefecture, far from his hometown. He spent a total of six years in Fukushima, absorbed in badminton. In 2009, he won the National Junior High School Badminton Tournament. In addition, he entered the top four in the All Japan Junior Badminton Championships. It was the first time in history to participate in the All Japan General Championship qualifying round as a junior high school male student. In 2011, when he was in his second year of high school, he won the bronze medal at the World Junior Championships men's singles held in Taiwan. In the same year, he defeated a company team player in the All Japan General Championship, advanced to the quarter-finals for the first time. In 2012, he won several world competitions, and his world ranking rose to 50th place. In 2013, Kento joined the company team of NTT East after graduating from high school. In the same year, he participated in the All Japan Badminton Championships for the first time and achieved his first victory. At the international tournament, he made his first top four at the BWF Super Series Premier Tournament at the China Open in November. In May 2014, Kento was selected as a member of the Japanese national team for the Thomas Cup. He won all five singles games, contributed to Japan's first victory. At the Indonesia Open Super Series premiere in June 2015, he won a 2-1 victory over Jan Ostergaard Jorgensen in the final, who won the previous tournament. He achieved the first Japanese male player to win the premier tournament. And after the match, he was ranked fourth in the world ranking. At the World Badminton Championships held in Jakarta in August of the same year, Kento won the bronze medal, although he lost straight to Qian Long, the number one in the world ranking in the semi-finals. In the world ranking on August 20th, he was ranked third, setting a new personal best. In April 2016, Kento won the India Open. As a result, he broke his record, ranking second place in the world. However, there was news that NTT East's players, including Kento, gambled at illegal casino stores in Tokyo. So, Kento was forced to retire from the Malaysian Open. After returning to Japan, Kento apologized at a press conference with his colleague, Kenichi Tago. According to an investigation by NTT East, Kento gambled at this store about six times in total. Kento said, no matter what kind of punishment I take this time, I would like to take it firmly. In response to this, the Nippon Badminton Association held an emergency board meeting, decided to remove Kento from the Japanese national team players, and suspend him from the competition indefinitely. In addition, they have officially decided not to recommend or dispatch to the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. In May 2017, Kento's suspension was lifted. He qualified for the Japan Ranking Circuit Tournament, which was the first return match in about a year. He defeated Takuma Ueda in the final and won the championship. After the game, Kento wept at the award ceremony and said, I've got all the thoughts for those who supported me in difficult times and created the environment for badminton. I don't have a goal for any tournament right now. I just want to be a player whom everyone wants to see on the court. In July 2017, Kento returned to the international competition at his own expense. 
After winning second place at the Canadian Open, he won five consecutive international tournaments. It announced that Kento would return to the badminton Japan national team in December because of his excellent performance in 2017. In August 2018, Kento played in the BWF World Championship with the sixth seed. After returning to the international tournament, he defeated the strongest players one after another, so he was listed as one of the winning candidates. And, he won the first Japanese men's gold medal in singles in this tournament. At the Daihatsu Yonex Japan Open men's singles in September, Kento won the first victory as a Japanese. As a result, in the world ranking announced on September 27, it became the number one of the men's singles world ranking, and it was the first time in history as a Japanese man. On the other hand, in October of the same year, an outside of the badminton court incident happened. A female player was in Kento's room during an unannounced doping test in the early morning at the Japan national team training camp. Consequently, the Nippon Badminton Association has announced that it has cautioned both parties, please refrain from misleading behavior. After that, Kento apologized, I'm really sorry for the trouble. I caused trouble to the people around me with my frivolous behavior. I want to reflect on my life and be careful about my behavior. In March 2019, at All England Open, the world's oldest badminton tournament, Kento won the first Japanese championship in the men's singles. After that, he achieved 11 wins at major international competitions held in 2019. As a result, it surpassed Lee Chong Wei's record of 10 wins a year in 2010 and was recognized as a Guinness World Record. Because of Kento's success this year, the Badminton World Federation named Kento the World Player of the Year in 2019. On January 12, 2020, Kento defeated Victor Axelson at the Malaysia Masters to win the championship. However, the next day, a tragedy strikes him. While traveling by car to Kuala Lumpur International Airport, an accident occurred. A white van carrying Kento and others collided with a truck. The crash killed a 24-year-old driver. Kento was taken to a hospital in Kuala Lumpur after suffering a whole-body bruise and damage on his chin, lips, and eyebrows. Fortunately, there was no threat to his life. He returned to Japan on January 15, two days after the accident, with steady steps. However, after that, he suffered from the symptom that the shuttle looked double during training. So, a detailed examination had done and revealed a fracture of the right orbital floor. Meanwhile, the Tokyo Olympics were postponed due to the COVID-19. Other international competitions were also delayed or cancelled one after another. Eventually, Kento's return to the actual game was the All Japan Championship in December. Although there were concerns about the negative effects of a traffic accident, he won the return race. At last, Kento had made a complete comeback. In June 2021, Kento was appointed as the Japan national player for the Tokyo Olympics to be held in the summer. In Japan, Kento is expected to get the gold medal. Kento has lived a life of ups and downs, but an interesting episode shows his private face, a lovely person. Kento lives far away from his hometown. However, there are many supporters around him. Kimiko Jinai, a former female badminton player, is one of them. Kimiko posted on Instagram an episode of having a meal with Kento for her husband's 60th birthday celebration. Kento messaged Kimiko, I want to give a present to your husband for the 60th birthday celebration, so I'll bring it to the restaurant today. But the moment he arrived at the restaurant, the first thing Kento said was the following. I have to apologize. What? What happened? I totally forgot to bring the gift for you. Eh? So what are you coming here for today? Then I have come here to eat sushi. Anyway, okay. Eat sushi. Kento continues to leave fantastic results in badminton with a strong mentality while living a turbulent life. Still, on the other hand, his private face is a person loved by everyone. In response to this post, there were voices on the internet saying, I love this story. It's an episode that changes the impression of Kento. We hope that he will show great success at the Tokyo Olympics this summer.